first new morphism then glass morphism now flowing gradient now this design trend is different because there's no set name to it design course calls it aura gradients i'm gonna call it flow radiant because there are different radiating glows all over your screen and they're flowing in a certain direction you've probably seen designs like this pop up everywhere on dribble linkedin behance Everybody's using this as a background, as a card, as buttons, and many more applications. I'm going to divide this video into two important parts. One is the history of these gradients and why these style of gradients are so popular. And in the second part of the video, I'll help you create your own flowing gradients without using any external applications or tools just your favorite design tools like Figma and XD. Mesh Gradients was a concept released a long time back by 3D software and, and 2D software like Adobe Illustrator. It was a way of plotting radial gradients on different points across the screen. So one point or one dot would be the epicenter of a different gradient altogether. Recently, the Aura Gradient feel was re-sparked by a very special movie by Disney. I'm forgetting the freaking name. Now that is a movie that designers really felt in their heart. The art style was incredible. Kind of reminded me of Ori and the Will of the Wisps or if you've played any of the Ori games. It really kind of picks up from that glowing effect. And in my opinion, that is what truly re-sparked this whole aura gradient of flow radiant style of design. Now don't get me wrong, glass morphism and new morphism were brilliant. I feel glass morphism has a lot of potential in graphic design and illustrations. But UI designers have a tendency of running away from design trends which are not accessible or which makes it harder for either the designer to create or the users to understand or even look at from a perspective of accessibility through your eyes. However, flow radiants are something very special. They don't really take away from the access accessibility of an application, they just add to the overall visual appeal of an application or a website. Now there are thousands of ways to use such a gradient. It could be on a dark background, it could be on a colored background with just a variation of different light gradients. It could be to bring focus to an image or a button or any other element on screen. It's a very basic UX principle of contrast. If one button or one element has a high contrast from all the other elements on screen, the user has a high tendency of going to that particular element or focusing on that particular element. That is why when you hover over a button, it starts to either glow or comes closer to you with the concept of depth. Flow Radiant really pushes the boundaries of this by allowing you to create a visually appealing stylistic experience and still just being either in the background or having less relevance to the user in terms of data or in terms of what he has to click or what he doesn't. Now, Flow Radiants look beautiful when animated correct. Flow Radiants can be animated with even your favorite design software like XD and Figma. That is something I will be explaining in the second part of this video. So, so watch till the end. And unlike other design trends, this is rather very easy to create. I personally love Flow Radiant. I actually created a cover for an upcoming series on this very channel called The Dream Job, where I'll be bringing senior designers from Google, Microsoft, and other companies like that to explain to you how you can get a job in these companies or how to prepare yourself as a designer. And I'm sure I'm going going to use this many more times. However, I will definitely love to know your opinion in the comments below. Tell me what you feel about these gradients, whether these gradients take away from the whole accessibility issue or do they add some value to your designs in any way possible? Now, without further ado, let's move on to the second segment, which is creating such amazing aura designs or these flow radiant designs in Adobe XD or Figma in just five to 10 minutes. That's, that's how easy it really is. I'll see you in the next segment. Ciao. Okay, so to begin with a landing page, I've used the Landify UI kit. I'll have all the resources that I've used here in the description so that you can follow along. We'll be creating flow radiance for both dark mode as well as this light mode right here. So to begin with, I will use a tool called Blob Maker. And it basically allows you to create some complex shapes or blobs in this case. Since it's web-based, you don't have to download anything. You can change the complexity and the number of edges from here. So just jag and just experiment with this a little bit. I suggest for quick results, just randomize this. So it'll create a random shape every time. And rather than downloading this image, you can just copy it as SVG 
and paste it back into the tool of choice. It could be XT or Figma. Make sure you do it at least three or four times. Now I have four shapes like this. I'll close the blob maker and here itself to fit the theme, I want nice colors. So either I can go to a color palette tool or I can just quickly go ahead and pick colors from this design itself. So I'm just going to pick up colors. One, I can go with this light blue like this. Perfect. The other one I can go with this nice yellow, maybe a slightly lighter yellow like this are ah, great. And I can go with something like this dark, uh, I'll call it this olive. I can always go for something like this beige here or white. And once you have a color palette which suits you, you can always expand these blobs and make sure you place them in areas that there will be enough contrast between the foreground and the background itself. So make sure it's behind everything else. And depending on how much you want them to spread, you can always spread them out. Place some on the left, of course. Once you have something that you're super happy with, you can always go ahead, select all these frames, or in this case, these blobs. And under effects, I want you to click on layer blur. And this will be very similar in XD, you have layer blur options. You just increase the blur from four to something like 200 or 400. As you can see, the color has just spread out in all directions and it creates this beautiful, almost seamless gradient. You can increase the value to something like 800 if you want a larger spread. There's more distinction between each of them and you can kind of see these shapes, so as to say. But this looks absolutely beautiful. We will try and replicate this for dark mode since we all love dark mode so much. I'm going to copy the position of these blobs from the left to the right here. However, these colors might not 100% suit our screen here, as you can see. So to make them suit it a little more, we're going to go ahead and change the layer values here from normal to something like overlay. Now overlay brings that nice uh, low opacity in this case, in case you want it to pop a little more. So as to say, you can always go for something like hard light and change the opacity to something like 50%. As you can see, this works wonders with the background and it creates that aura gradience or in this case, what I'm calling it flow radiance. Now, when it comes to animating both in, in Figma and XD, you, you need to do the same exact thing. With Figma, you'll do smart animate. With XD, you'll do auto animate. Now to animate it, you can always increase the size of these blobs, change the position a little bit, go from the bottom to the top or something like that. And you can do this for the same all of these other blobs as well. To give it that moving effect, you can always rotate these blobs as well. Since all of them have a distinct shape, the gradient will also flow from one end to the other. To show you the animation, I'm going to click on the first artboard on top here, go to prototype, same in XD, you'll do the same in XD interaction and just drag this little circle from the first artboard to this second artboard at the bottom. And rather than saying instant, I will say spart animate ease out. I'll change it to ease in out and give it a good respectable timing. It should be slow in this case. So something like 2000 or 3000 milliseconds will do the job. Again, you can increase or decrease the values according to your own preferences as well. And if I open this in preview mode, you will see the magic happen. Ah, as you can see, this gradients are slowly growing. You have to focus a lot on this, but these gradients are slowly moving in the background. And that's the aim of this subtle uh, gradient or flow radiant design at the back. You can even change the colors of these blobs, things like that. Just play around, experiment with it and have fun with it and come to a very nice conclusion or a very nice final design. So that was today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos I post every Monday and Thursday. So until next time, take care and God bless.